Hello everyone, my name is Amanda and today I'm going to be talking about something that we don't always really like to talk about, Adderall, or specifically why you shouldn't take Adderall when you're not prescribed to it. So I originally was going to do this speech on Xanax abuse because I'm going in the pharmaceutical industry and I know a lot of people affected by it, Um, but I recently had a really good friend of mine have her life basically ripped away from her through Adderall you know, something that we normally wouldn't expect to disable us. So I thought it was important to do it on this this week instead of instead of Xanax. Um, So I'm going to start my speech off by talking about Tara a little bit. Tara was my best friend ever since the first week of freshman year. Um, I always knew that she was on Adderall, you know, she was prescribed. And at first I'd be able to tell when she was on them and and when she wasn't on them. But after a while, um, she started taking them so much that I, I never saw her not on them so I thought how she was acting was normal but you know it it really wasn't and all the years you know as the years went on all the way to my senior year every single spring semester she would start going through this almost like a psychosis you know and every single every spring semester and I would tell her you know maybe stop taking the pills maybe they're messing with you a little bit and she always said you know no no I I need them and and they helped her and, and, you know, what she was going through wasn't because of them. So of course I believed her and I, I didn't want to push her. And thinking back, I, I really wish that I would have, I would have said a little bit more. So um, what no one really ever knew was that Tara was predisposed to a mental illness. Um, and when you're predisposed to a mental illness through genetics, Adderall can actually cause psychosis symptoms. Um So she would take more and more because she felt like the Adderall was helping her and and it would make her happy and and help her get through her her symptoms, but they really were basically were killing her. So I'm telling Tara's story today because I don't want anyone to have to go through what she went through or what I went through or, or our friends or her family went through watching her go down such a slippery slope so fast, you know, although Adderall might be able to make you focus on studying for hours or happier than normal or not eat. So you get, you know, lose some weight, which are all reasons that Tara would use Adderall. Um, it also causes really bad mood swings and, and hyperactivity at night. So you won't sleep and it's highly, highly addictive. Um, Adderall is normally prescribed to people with ADHD or attention deficit disorder. And I can't stress enough that I am not trying to say that people with ADHD shouldn't be taking it. You know, if it helps you, of course you should be taking it. I know a ton of people that have ADHD and have been on it for years and it's improved their lives drastically, but Tara took them because, you know, she liked how it made her feel and, she liked how she would clean her room on them and how, you know, she would lose weight when she was on them. And, and she didn't really realize how it was affecting her until it was too late. You know, even I have taken many Adderall throughout my college career, and I somehow found it very easy to find on campus, you know, because people get Adderall prescriptions just to take their finals or a big test, and then they sell the rest for money. And, you know, I just want you to think before you buy that Adderall from your friend or before your big test or before you sell that Adderall to your friend before the big test, because, you know, it could have consequences that aren't, you know, that don't show up right away, but, you know, they're there and, and it's real. And, you know, Adderall is called a dex- is called dextroamphetamine because it is an amphetamine, you know, it's a stimulant. And it, I, it's something I promise is nothing at all to mess with at all. And especially when you're so long, young, like we are, and I worked at a pharmacy, it's a schedule two drug. It is, you know, very controlled in my opinion. I, I think it could be even more controlled um, and taking it for something, a reason other than you needing it is can, it can have really serious consequences. Um, On February 21st, 2021, my best friend Tara committed suicide after being in and out of rehab for her Adderall addiction for a year. Um, Tara basically took so much of this medication that that her brain, she felt like her brain was fried to a point of, of no return and she felt like she would never feel normal again and there was no other option. Please just don't let that happen to you or anyone around you because it can be prevented and it's a very serious thing and you know you don't need that that Adderall just to take your final you know you could do it on your own so thank you for listening.